Bloomhouse has created a factory for creativity based around extreme financial discipline. But this is the beauty about Bloomhouse and why it's so genius though. They're like, we're only going to make five to $10 million movies. Okay, how do we attract the best people if we're only gonna give them this budget? They make a trade off. They go, we'll give you final cut. You can have the final cut of your film, however you want it, as long as it comes under budget. So now you get super talented guys like Jordan Peele to do this trade off, but he has to keep the movie under budget, but he gets final cut. Amazing. So Jason Bloom says something which I think we can all relate to. We all love creativity. He goes, when you bring in money, that's extra voices, extra cooks in the kitchen, you lose control. And when you lose control, especially in creative industries, that's when the product is all these compromises and trade offs. However, if you're fully aligned with your financiers and your creatives where you're like, hey, listen, if this movie does well, everybody gets paid. If not, whatever, but you get a final cut, but these are the terms with which it's made. You have way more chance to follow through in your creative vision. This is why the model's genius.